When I was 19 weeks pregnant, I had an ultrasound, and we found out at that moment that we were having a girl after having three boys, so it was a joyful moment. But then, soon after that, they realized that our daughter would be born missing her right hand and two-thirds of her forearm. I got my first passive prosthesis when I was six months old, and my first myelectric when I was 18 months old. I am a physical therapist, so I had some understanding of brain development, and so it was important for me to have her fit with a device that has an active, moving grasp at a young age, so that as she was learning how to grasp with her intact left hand, she would be able to grasp with a prosthesis, too. Triner's Hospital allows us to provide these very expensive devices to these children. And we take that burden off of the parent who look at these devices and the expense of these devices, and we get that opportunity to tell them, it's gonna be okay. I really love it here. It's so like nice, everyone's so nice and everything. I've been able to meet so many people that are like me, and like it showed me that I wasn't alone and I wasn't the only one that was like this. I think she was three and a half years old. She wanted to start doing some more sport type things. And so Shriners um, fit her with an activity specific or sports prosthesis. I've tried sports like volleyball, baseball, basketball and all those. Like that would be really hard without my sports prosthesis. And I'm just like really glad that I was able to do that because sports has like given me an opportunity to meet so many people. and have so much fun. At one point she wanted to be able to do the monkey bars, so Shriners provided her with a stationary hook that would just hook onto the monkey bars. She was so thrilled at that age to be able to do the monkey bars when her friends were doing that. It's made it so much easier for like to hold things and make me like look more normal. Like sometimes you can't even like tell that I have it on. We've been very fortunate to have Shriners here all the way along. Not one prosthetic device can, can replicate what a hand does, and so I really believe it's important to have multiple devices. Unfortunately, insurance companies, it's hard for them to even pay for one prosthetic device, much less multiple devices. So because of Shriners, Amber has had the opportunity to try multiple devices and be able to do a multitude of things. and. We're just so, so thankful for that. When I was younger, I was in gymnastics and I was able to go on the beam and do dismounts and all that because I had my sports prosthesis and it was hard, but I was able to do it. And that's the thing that I love about it. Her brothers have been able to see that it's possible to overcome challenges. And if you have the right tools, you'll be able to do it. I moved here in 2015 and I was diagnosed with uh, osteogenic sarcoma, a type of cancer that was in my knee. And I underwent treatment, I had an amputation. It was really hard. I felt like I couldn't be active or just do the things I love. So be strong and athletic one day and to just lose your leg to a deadly disease can be life altering. It really hurt and it was really, it was really sad. I was up late one night um, thinking about how I was going to help Melvin because he had had the amputation. And while up, I saw this commercial came up. Because of people like you, Shriners Hospitals for Children has helped more than 1.3 million kids just like me over the last 90 years, regardless of their family's ability to pay. The next morning, I called. And while I was explaining his situation, and he said, oh, never mind, we cover the cost. And I asked again, I said, are you, are you sure you understood what I said? And he said, I did understand. Um, you don't have to worry. And I just couldn't believe it because it just went just like that. Shriners Hospital stands out because under one roof, you get to consult with an orthopedic surgeon. You get to consult with a full therapy staff. You also get to visit orthotics and prosthetics. 
Microprocessor knee systems are some of the new state-of-the-art prosthetic systems that we do provide at the Shriners Hospitals. Altogether, these systems run between $60,000 to $75,000. It's really stable compared to my first leg. I used to fall about three times a month. I feel more confident, and one big goal was walking on our crutches. That kind of helped build my confidence, and I just felt, I just felt really good. The leg has made a great difference in this life. He's able to go back to playing basketball. He has not lost that passion. He wants to volunteer everywhere. He wants to get involved in every activity. I feel like I want to be able to, to help other people. Because of people like you, I have no limits.